Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ike, where I share my love of designer handbags here. From unboxings to bag reviews, also just building up my designer handbag collection. So if you're also on a journey to collecting handbags and you might find this helpful, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can see future bag features. So for today, I wasn't actually sure if I would do a video for my current purchase. From Chanel only because she was so tiny so I didn't know if it would warrant a separate video but then I thought I love her so much I have to share it with everyone and you might be keen to pick up something from the current collection also this is my very first purchase from Chanel of a small leather good so I'll share with you my thoughts as to whether I think it's worth it or whether I think you should save for another investment piece stick around if you definitely want to see what's inside so I was shopping out with my friend and I wasn't planning on getting anything. I was actually there for moral support. How many times has that happened to you where you're out shopping with someone but you end up getting something for yourself? It was just one of those days where I just wasn't planning on picking up anything from Chanel. But as soon as I saw this, I could not stop looking at it. And I think we went into three stores before I bit the bullet and was just like, what the heck? I'm just gonna buy it. It's just too beautiful and I'm going to regret it if I don't pick it up. And that is what uh, irks me about Chanel. If you don't pick it up then and there, it's like FOMO hits in, you'll think you can't find it again. And partially it is true and unfortunately it is the case. Uh, so yeah, so anyway, let's just go ahead and unbox it because she is so pretty. Okay. This currently retails for $3,830. How adorable is she? Oh my gosh. I, as soon as I picked her up, I was like, oh, she is so tiny, so impractical. But I just could not walk away. I just kept looking at her and yeah. I believe this is called a belt bag, but I'd like to think of it more as a mini purse on a chain, just because I could never pull off a belt bag. I'm so envious of all the models that can pull off a belt bag look. Uh, that's just not for me. I wear my bags crossbody 99% of the time uh, and the odd occasion over my shoulder but for the most part I think I will be wearing this as a crossbody bag. It comes in a beautiful cool toned lilac pink. Uh, I believe the name of the colour is actually called lilac for this season and it is beautiful brushed gold hardware. What I love about this is the adjustable strap. You, it's so easy to change up uh, the length of the bag even as you're wearing it. Whereas sometimes with other Chanel bags, you have to take your bag off and then adjust and then put it back over your shoulder. This one slides so easily on and off. And it's so smooth. I don't know why Chanel doesn't do this more in their collection. That's like some bag chain ASMR right there. So pretty. It has this beautiful gold CC detailing with a very mini mini heart just on top of there. If you can see, so pretty. As I mentioned, this is probably the least practical SLG bag that I own. It will probably fit just a lipstick, a couple of cards, which I don't even really carry in my wallet anymore because I pay for everything with Apple Pay and I have my driver's license on my phone. Just to see what fits inside. This one was made in Italy and it has a leather lining up top and then a fabric lining on the inside. So not practical, but so, so, so cute. For under $4,000, do I think it's worth it? I think if you are 
looking to purchase your very first dream Chanel handbag, whether it's a classic or a boy bag, I would say continue to save and invest in a classic bag first because I think if you end up getting an SLG to perhaps just fit in the interim, it just delays the process of saving for your dream bag. So definitely pass on that if you can. These always come out. I've seen so many mini bags that I could have easily gravitated towards uh, in the last few collections. I think this will come out again and again, just in different colors and variations. So, you know, you, they, you always feel like you're gonna miss out, but in the end, it's not the end of the world. Sometimes it feels like it, even for me. I hope you enjoyed the bag review. Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video and look forward to seeing you in my next review and next bag sharing. Uh, I don't have my eye on anything at the moment, but we shall see. It might be a case of I walk into another store and bring something home. Until then, lots of love. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Baby boy. Make the money stack tall right now. Make the, make the money stack tall.